Yes, sir. Ooh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back. No free game. No the free game. A- the absolute best podcast on the planet. I am your humble and gracious host, King Solomon. And to my right, my longtime, amazingly amazing uh, superstar, Ooh. The Big Juice Show. The Let's Big Juice Show. Let's get some more claps. Thank you. The man with the fucking plan, the king himself. I'm honored once again to be back. Thank you, brother. How was your week, man? It's been a long week. This week was longer than last week. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been a long week. We, we saw each other yesterday. Oh, man. Uh, but we'll, we'll, yeah, how do you, we'll, you want to unpack we'll it? There. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, <laughs> How about how was it for you? How how anything uh, eventful? Anything special? Anything? Uh, the, like the earlier part of the week before yeah. the crazy event last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, man, I don't. I think it's just it's 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 weird with the weather shift. New Jersey is is it's, we're in a weird place. New Jersey's no longer like New Jersey anymore. If no. that makes sense. Like before, like you kind of knew what was gonna happen. You knew what to expect for time periods and shit. Now, I, you can wake up tomorrow and it's 92, or you can wake up tomorrow and it's 52. Literally. And, and, and there's nothing you could do about it. It's, I feel like, it's only, what, 21 counties in Jersey, right? 2021? Something like that. But I feel like all 50 states get represented in little old New Jersey. It's a little That's bit. That's extremely fair. I, I, I feel like that, King, because like you said, you wake up, it's 92, we're in Elizabeth now. I thought I, I thought I just pulled into fucking Miami. <laughs> Little Havana. <laughs> Little Havana. It's uh, the niggas just like, yo, put some clothes on, mommy. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. And then if you, you know, what I mean, it, if you if you go out west, you know, what I mean, I feel like I might be in fucking like Iowa somewhere. Yo, you know, West Jersey's West, weird. West New Jersey is literally Montana. Yes, and like North Dakota. It's just, it's just like, it's literally, it can't be New Jersey. No. It's Pennsylvania. Ain't the worst. But like Booney's Pennsylvania. Shout out to the Booney's Pennsylvania. Let's make some noise. Let's clap, let's clap for Booney's and PA. Where's the deepest you've been? Speaking of that, where's the deepest you've been in, in, in PA, like the Booney's? It's shit you might not even actually know. Like, like maybe the Poconos is as Booney's as I got in PA. I thought that was as Booney's as I, I as it could get. Pittsburgh. And everything it's around Pitts, it. It's Pittsburgh, a boonie area? Have you been? I've never been. Oh, my fucking God. It's <laughs> so... Have you seen Cabin Fever? Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's Pittsburgh, the whole city. Cabin Fever. That's very fucking weird. Bro. And it's a major sh- city. It's a major city. They have new infrastructure. It's like a college city. Everything closes at 10. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. What I do you mean? And if you're black or... Latina, you got, are you, so now it's new. So are you uh, Latinx? Is that, I don't know what you guys go by anymore. I'm just trying to just stay progressive <laughs> and move with it. I don't know. I don't know. I seen it in my fucking uh, Apple Music shit. It was up there. I clicked on it. Uh, Daddy Yankee still hot, whatever. And Let's make some noise to Daddy Yankee. Let's make some noise to Daddy Yankee. Let's make some noise to Daddy Yankee. And they will let you know you're a minority in Pittsburgh. Subtly. Is it, it like Boston subtle? Ooh, I have. Ne- you've been to Boston, so I've never been, but I, I know enough people that have. That have. Yes, you definitely are well connected. I'm gonna go, <laughs> so I'm gonna find. I'm going to Boston from the. Oh, so first you're, go- you're the, going for the first the, time? Yeah, 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 for the first time, June first to the third or second. Ah, uh, second. I'm coming back in a second, so I'm, I'll let you know. But it's like, no, no, King. It's in the middle of nowhere. That's so weird. So it's like that is that's so just because it's a major city, I find that. Then again, I mean, you see the Steelers, you see like the the whole the whole uh, persona they like to give off, the hardworking. Oh, that's collar. that's yo. That we work in the coal mines, bro. We, I saw a coal. We breathe in asbestos. I, I, that I it, saw. it gives you chest hair, like. <laughs> and and a lot of. The women look like Roseanne, older. Hey, <laughs> hey, shout out to Roseanne Barr. Look at some class Roseanne Barr. She's fucking wild. Class Roseanne Barr. But 
It's 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 weird. It's weird. I mean, long story less long. I feel like Jersey represents a lot of that now, and the weather change is weird. Uh, I, 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 don't know. I don't know how we got here. I don't know how we got here. Last week was a lot cooler, <laughs> so shit was weird. How was your week? My my week was long. My week was very long. Um, saw the Griselda on Wednesday. I love Griselda. Shout, Shout out, out Buffalo. To- I know we touched on the Buffalo shooting last week, but so went, went to see Griselda at uh, Terminal 5. Have you been to Terminal 5 before? Yes. Um, this is my first time. How'd you feel uh, with the space? I, I wish somebody had given me a heads up. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was a room of 30-plus-year-old men standing for five hours. Uh, oh, so just take a guess. Just, just take a guess how that feels. Um, so there was, a, there was a, uh, there's, there's actually a couple points I want to touch on that um, kind of shocked. Not, so, not shocked me, but stuff that... You, I just think needs to be said uh, about the current state of rap shows. Uh, and I'm talking about like underground rap. That's shows. real. I'm about to say that's real rap. Yeah, I'm talking about the yeah. the underground boom bap rap shows, right? So the first thing I noticed was the large amount of white people there. Period. Right. Mad easily, white people. Easily, easily, sixty percent, sixty five percent white people. Easily for Griselda. So that's that's. Let's start there. It's odd. Um. A lot of men bringing their girlfriends. It was it a was lot it was of women. Men bringing their girlfriends. If you were a woman there, you were with your boyfriend. And there was a lot. Good for them. I hope they got like a fucking hand job on the way there. I, or something I, you know, get some stress relief. When did a hip hop show become a date night? Never. When did, when did listening to Benny the Butcher tell me about selling crack cocaine became an aphrodisiac? <laughs> Yo, that all right. <sighs> I, I just want to know what was was there was there. I just want to know what the conversation was in trying to explain what what and where we're going. Like, would you bring, or when you bought the tickets? Would you bring your girl to a, a underground hip hop show? No, and she'd be like, uh, "My nigga, why would I go?" That so that was the thing. That's that was my exact thought, which was. My girl looked at me like, why would you think I want to come here? Were those couples, what was the age range of those couples, would you say? Like, from what you saw? So, I would say the couples look younger. Um, I would say the, the average age had to be, like, 28, though. It was a lot of older really? people. It was a, it, was a, it was a very older crowd. Um, but still a good amount of young, young adults. Uh, but, yeah, the young kids usually were the ones with the girlfriends. Um, hmm. And another thing I want to point out, Griselda brought out a lot of their friends to rap. No. Are they, are, are they at that stage? And they reached that pinnacle so, where it's like, here's the thing. yo, let's give, here's, let's give Young Buck a single. Yo, but here's the Fuck. thing. Here's the thing, right? It's Fuck, for me. Benny. So here's the thing. Fuck. So all, so all three of the Griselda members performed, right? Kanye, went, it was Westside, Benny, then Kanye. Um, each of them had, I guess, the artist under them. Do some do some work, um, and you can feel the energy dying towards the end <laughs> because there was just so many records of people that nobody gave a fuck, and not and look maybe not even heard and not, right, and, and, but like it's not even on the artist per se. It was just that listen, you, the show opened at eight, they didn't get on to like ten. So it's, there's no seating in Terminal 5 for those of you who've never no. been. You, it's all standing room. It's three floors, but if you're not on the balcony Don't on matter. the second and third floor, it absolutely doesn't matter. Don't matter. Because the ceiling cuts off everything else. And everybody right next to each other. And, at, and, and, and that was the... Cre- this is now pre-pandemic, and I get it. People don't really care about corona like that no more. But this, it, we're packed in, as like sardines in just this box to watch... These guys rap. On, 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 on no, three, to watch yeah. their friends rap. For, and you said the friends were before or after. So they would do, uh, so what, each of them would no. do records we know for a good like half hour. And then the back half hour were their friends who they're trying to put on. And I get it. Shout out to them for doing that. But it's like, yo, this is, this is I would feel like this is a big show for Griselda. In the city, after the Buffalo incident. I was. If you're gonna bring out guests, I'm expecting a Diddy. 
I'm expecting the J. Cole. Like, I'm expecting the big guest for, for, this, for, for, this for, for this moment. For the moment that they could have propelled after a massacre and in their city. And it, it, it and, and listen, I enjoyed their performances, but it, it was it was just interesting. <laughs> it was just interesting. It was very interesting. Cause you know, I, I've been to a good amount of, of these underground rap shows, especially um even prior to the pandemic, after the pandemic. And that happens where you know your mans will come on or whatever, but it's for like a five minute set. It wasn't Which might twenty minutes. Still be too. And then like, no and then, fucking way. And then Conway was up. He did his joint. His people were starting to do their joints, and like, the, like I said, the energy was kind of dead. And he like, oh, what's going on, New York? Da 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 da. And it's like, yo, what's like? Come on, yo, what you want us to do, bro? Everybody here forty. Everybody needs her. Just yeah. In this hot ass environment for, for three four hours. hours. Three, four yeah. hours. I don't want to sing along to somebody I never heard of before. You don't know them. As a as an artist, as a rapper, and you've been seasoned for some years now. Shit, wow. Since ah, 2021. Like since that age. So it's about a decade. You've 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 seen enough to understand how outside of rap, the business side works. So when you go to events like that, and you're a business mind, nigga. When you, you when you get the Warren Buffett, when you start thinking, I'm like, yo, John, let's go to McDonald's, let's get the four for four. <laughs> you want your Warren Buffett shit. So I can imagine how when you when when you're in a scenery like that, as an artist, how you how you're just dissecting the business of the craft of the art, right? When Griselda, I think they're 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 diamonds in the rough. A thousand percent. Benny, uh, Conway. And uh, West Side, West Side, diamonds in the rough. They're also older. They're veterans. They have actually lived the yeah. life they talk about. So now, when we get into motherfuckers like the Friends, these niggas is pushing forty. No shade at the age, but I don't know your man, dog. He forty. So, so here's the thing, right? Right. And, 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 <laughs> <laughs> and and, and as, as you're talking about the business side of it, I, I get it. You want to get your artists hot. You want to get them some experience of being on stage and working, et cetera, et cetera. I get the, I get the idea. I just feel like... <clears throat> I just feel like things need to be planned out better, f- especially for certain shows, right? Like New York City, Terminal 5, that's a big show. Like, yeah. So for the sake of Griselda, I would argue... It would have done better if they brought out one big act and then have the mans come on mm. after, or have even have the mans just open be the opening do, act, do the opening, and let them do the whole set to get the shit going. Because we were just standing around for two hours. That's another. So thing. like, there's wasted time right there where you could just have them up there doing. You know, if you want to get to the reps, get them up there doing their own records, creating their own vibe, creating their own show. Yes, and then lead the Griselda part to 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 the group. So, damn. So it was just very interesting. It was very interesting. Uh, Two but, hours of, of just standing, like, yeah, it was. It was, it, yo, it was a long. Because niggas could get packed like sardines like, in, in, in that motherfucker. Like I haven't done a festival in a very long time, and I and I now see why I probably won't anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, was, I just I, I realized standing up for five hours straight is fucking exhausting. And and then trying to enjoy music. It's mo- most niggas. I've been to a few festivals. You actually performed at festivals, right? You did the festival. I did one, yeah. Yeah, and you've been to festivals. And I think people fail to realize, like, this shit is to all be blamed because of Woodstock. <laughs> we've, we've 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 lost. We've I've watched a forty-five minute set of Macklemore, and then I was like, holy <laughs> shit. I think I like Macklemore. I had no idea that I was going to watch this. Bro, they treat Macklemore like the Pope. Fuck you niggas who think you doing something when you got hey, 12 man, shout niggas. To shout out to Macklemore. Hit it. When you got 12 niggas wu tang in the back <laughs> drinking Henny. I saw the crowd move like Mother Teresa was blessing a child when Macklemore came. I was like, whoa, what the? Fuck is this, bro? And then now we've gotten to a point where it's just like, 
a bunch of niggas on the stage. And then Jerner, Jerner Lucas, that's what you say his first name? Yeah, Jerner Lu- Lucas. He's yeah. always upset because he's like, wow, I'm next to the... I'm like, yo, Jerner, bro, it's 30 niggas on this bill. I mean, you rap good. You, like, you just a fast rapper. They got to find somewhere to put you in, bro. You know, it's it's that's the thing about hip-hop, right? There is no ranking system. So mm. you can be Jorner and think, well, why am I not doing drink numbers? How do, you, how do you feel about that? Unpack that. I like that. I never thought about that like because, that. Because, I mean, like, you, you, can, you can use, like, the NBA, right? And if a guy's like, oh, I'm nice, I'm nice, well, you can easily go, well, you're not LeBron, well, you're not, you're not uh, Steph. You're not. Like, yeah. You, you, we can easily say like, all right, you can think that all you want, but sh- get out of here. You don't move the needle. How you gonna tell that? How you? How can you really tell that to Joiner when he does sell crazy records? His shows do sell out when it's just him. Like it, it's there. There's so much warped reality because at the end of the day, if you an artist that are getting onto a festival stage, that means you can sell out your own shows. So if I'm selling out my own shows, you're not going to sit there and tell me, well, I'm, I, I'm not higher than so-and-so. For example, a guy like Russ. Russ can probably sell out more shows than, I would say, 90% of the industry right now. Uh, Russ from... Oh, 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 Russ, Russ. Russ, the, Russ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good. I, I, he, and he, and, and completely he independent, right? He's completely independent. Now, if I'm, a, if I'm a festival guy, I'll go, well, I can easily say, well, I want Travis and I want... Uh, baby, and I want Gunna, and and I want so and so, so and so, so and so, because they got more traction right now than Russ. And Russ will laugh at you and say, "Well, what are you talking about? I, I've easily sold out more shows. I've easily done more." T- so you know what I mean. So there's no, it, the, the, where awesome. where like if it's a guy who's in the G League saying, "Oh, I'm the nicest in the league," we can say, "Well, you, what, look at your stats. Your stats is ass. You score. Ah! You averaged 15 minutes to score two points. Like, you know what I mean? Like you can point to. What are you gonna tell Russ? <clears throat> like Russ will be like, "Nigga, I just sold out." Staples ah. Center. Ha. And it's so there's no there's no real there's no there's no real way to police this. You can't you can't. But see, I think ever since who who said it the best? Childish Gambino. I think years ago, I watched that interview on the Breakfast Club, and he was like, "Niggas got to find a way to quantify their worth." And when he said that, because I've always been independent, like uh, uh, the, the independent guy, to think like, "Yo, if you think you hot shit." Sell your own shit. Facts. If you don't, my nigga, hook up with Walmart. <laughs> but best believe your shit going to be next to some other shit that might not be as hot as yours, but, like, you're competing. And when you look at it like that, like, when a nigga's trying to quantify his worth, like, when I look at these independent artists, I think, like, even Nipsey, the idea of selling an album, like, last week we talked about uh, Kendrick being... I, I, I thought about that conversation after we left, like being an, uh, an, an, an artist, like an actual yeah, artist. Yeah, selling art it's, pieces. It's, it's yeah, art yeah. pieces, like Picasso's and mm-hmm. Van Gogh's. And I think of niggas like that, Nipsey selling your album for 100, or for anybody. Like Kim does videos and pictures and shit like that. And then if you get to a point, a pinnacle, you're like, yo, I, I'm, I'm dope now. I think I could sell this for 50. And somebody else like, why? They'd be like, well, nigga, can you do it? That, like, and it, then at that moment, I think you should be like, oh, all right, then, and then try it at least, that's, right? That's why art is, is it's, it's, it's the Wild West. It's right? the Wild West because, there, you, it, again, how can you really quantify anything where, you know, you can say, oh, somebody's bigger than Nipsey. Well, if Nipsey sold X amount of albums for $100, is he? But are they just tar- or do like, they have like an what, idea of just targeting you know what I mean? their, like, what, what their is, common what are, audience? What, so that so what right? are we, what's what are we actually saying? Like what what numbers are we using? Oh. What numbers are we using? Because we're using real stats. A lot of guys' stats look crazy. So all right, all right. A lot of guys' stats Let's go look vaguer. crazy. Let's go bigger. Let's go broader. My my the robe, robe is, is loose. It's, crazy. it's, it's, it's shout moving. To, shout to the fuck. Look at the fucking. I'm doing. Fucking robe, I'm man. doing. This nigga. Bowie versus Prince. I'm, I'm trying to... They literally fight uh, I'm, I'm going to wear this, and I'm not washing it, America, until we get fucking eliminated or win. So this smells like vodka and uh, <laughs> those weird-ass Indian native cigarettes, and this is, and this is just a robe. Be- before we keep pushing, I do want to quickly say big shout-out to Biggie on his birthday yesterday. <laughs> Woo! The Notorious B.I.G. Real quick, your, fav- your favorite ever. big record that is not... Your favorite underground big cut... 
You can't say hypnotize. You can't wow. say uh, uh, you, um, uh, juicy. You, you, can't, you, can't, you can't name the ones. Your favorite underground biggie cut. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so it might be two. Let's, the, 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 um, basically, the shit that French we did, there's nobody. Oh, so somebody kills you? Yeah. Ooh, that's, that, a, that's a really good one. And one of his very, very earliest works in uh, Party and Bullshit because it was mm, so wrong. Party and Bullshit. When I heard that, and then people felt, King, like, Outside of you being an artist and like you have a business mind, you're a student of the game. So people fail to realize like you studied music, right? And then you understand like at a young age, Biggie was leagues, leagues, leagues above. Like what was he, 18, 19 when he did that shit? How old was he died? He was like 24? He was 24 when he died. So <sighs> he, he, everything he did was in what, a four or five year span basically? All his work? Yeah, I mean, I listen at twenty one. I, I I got DUI, so that should tell you. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> should tell you where I was at twenty one years old. Yeah, nah. So so mine. I got two. Also, um, I got a story to tell. Uh, that beat is probably one of my favorite beats of all time, too. For the record, I actually just seen some oh. some 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 on YouTube Damn. about the story of that beat, which is crazy. Um, and then uh, uh, the world is filled with pimps and hoes. Oh wow! Those I know. Oh wow! Love that song. Love that song. Those are deep might cuts. Be, I'm about to say those, those are deep be, cuts. Yeah. Those are cuts. If you don't know Big's catalog, you don't know what I'm talking about. And, oh, wow! Ugh! Damn, you took it there. It got me thinking. Those are. I, I want. I wanted. I wanted the deep on the B side, the second to last record <laughs> that you skipped because it was time to go to school. I, I like yo. <laughs> I. It's crazy because he doesn't have a huge body of work because he died so young. But I feel like, I think he, hot take, but Big don't, he don't have any misses because hip hop was so raw back then. And then also too, people fail to realize he was Jamaican. So he did have a dip. His cadence, his, his cadence, his Jamaican rhythm. Artist. I didn't realize until that Netflix doc how many people... Biggie, in Biggie's life that were like artists. Like, it's, yeah. almost like, it's almost like, duh, he became what he became. It's like I feel about Drake. Like Drake's uncle's like this legendary yeah. jazz, um, uh, yeah, Didn't jazz know. bass player. Duh, Didn't duh, know. duh. His dad is obviously the, like, duh. So you actually been duh. around this your duh. whole life. And big, and, like, and big like Drake was a student. How could he not be? His whole family, his whole, uh, his whole family was in music. Yo, the state of, do you think these young niggas even care? Like, like, like. You care about what? <laughs> like, we, we mean, saying Biggie to them, to a young nigga now, let's say like 18. Oh, he don't care fuck about Biggie. 24. He don't give a fuck about Biggie. Oh, 19, 18 and 24 don't give a fuck about Biggie. They'll, an 18, 19 year old tell you that Triple X is way better than Biggie. It's not even close. I, I need a number two pencil I, I, to stab I myself. You. He was cool. <laughs> So is Pizza Hut with his cold. <laughs> Fuck you. Thank you. Shout out to Pizza Hut. <laughs> yeah, nah. If you ask if you ask any young person, they'll probably they'll say Juice World's better. Yo, first off, I don't like. I'm, I'm nonviolent. <laughs> I kill insects. That's where the needle stops. But these niggas die at such a vast rate. How are all of them goaded? And let's be honest. Well, because they died. The access to making music is so much easier. Oh, it's not. It's uncomparable. So, no, there, this is like almost like the Renaissance time for music. Like it, mm. you, you can, bro. There's 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 producers who tell you they make a beat in the back of an Uber. That's what on, I'm the, saying, on their way bro. to the airport, they they just got their drum set up. They 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 melody set and they just. Knock it all out on their phone. So how you Picasso? Like, 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 like you remember even back when we started rapping, like the equipment cost more just because of like what it was and you really had to still kind of knew what to do with it. Now it's like, I get you, you don't like, yo, I, I got the phone and I made the hot, but it's like, yo, one, like nobody really 
pushing the needle with the sounds. Two, it's so accessible. Like, bro, could you imagine Big being in the studio and killing shit in one take? The shit costs so much. And, bro, you really had to restart shit. Like, you, you hurt? Fuck that. Last night, uh, when we was at the Freaky Deaky event. Oh, we still got to get there. We still gotta get. We there. gotta get there. All right, fuck it. We gotta. Still so gotta before get there. I say that story, but I so I just put it like this. I heard. I took a picture. I didn't see the picture. You know why? Because I heard the camera. It was. It was like. <laughs> because you know what? The film was rolling. <laughs> These young niggas don't know what the fuck. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Could you imagine recording the nigga hit stop? It's like yo, I gotta reset the shit. The shit go. <laughs> but I. So I also have a. I also have a counter argument that none of that matters. <gasps> you Benedict Arnold. Really? I also argue none of that matters. Why? Because if I can bring in five people who are avid music listeners in here right now and they have no idea what you're talking about. Nor would they give a fuck. Should I can play they? I can play two records, one that's completely analog and one that's completely digital, and I guarantee you half the people here wouldn't give a fuck. So you're just a nerd. You're a nerd like myself. All that technical uh, shit only matters if you're a nerd. Yes. That's it. It don't matter in real life. These niggas are not nerds no more. What are they? A bunch of hoodlums. <laughs> I don't like that shit. Lock them up. Bunch, Fucking bunch, super predators. Hillary Clinton was right, you <laughs> bastards. A bunch of murderers. <laughs> I, so all jokes aside, though, all jokes aside, all jokes aside, this is probably the first time in hip hop where, like, you have to actually be who you say you are. Yeah, I don't this, like that this shit. Is the first, like, this is really the first time. And people can point to, like, scenarios like, like uh, I don't know, some of the younger, like, little Tekka, whoever. You want these younger kids. But, like, for the most part, you can look at all the big acts. They all really in this, like, a lot of them in this life. They're murderers. A lot. Like, you can look at G Herbo. You can look at. You see Thug situation gunners. You oh, can see, shit. You can see uh, NBA Young Boy. You, like, I can name all these major, major acts in hip hop that, I mean, hell, basically, Yo Gotti's whole roster is full of killers. Killers, felons, or, drug dealers. Or, or major drug dealers. And they, re- and they really are those things. It's not like in the 80s where you can run, you, you know, the label made this whole story for you. Now niggas really just check you on the internet. And find out if you really bought that life. And they really bought this why, life. Why, why, so that's why, why I don't think none of that, that shit matters. Though? Why is it that? Like, 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 like you said. So the fact we're nerds, like you said, like, my thing is, bro, you know Romeo and Juliet wasn't real niggas. You don't want to watch your mans and his shorty bang themselves because they can't fuck how they want to fuck because their parents want some weird shit. You don't want to see that. Yeah, but you, like... It's because it, hip hop has become what it's become. Hip hop, hip hop is such a cultured thing that the hip hop culture mindset is, especially after all the years. If you really about this life, if, or if you're gonna rap about this life, because hip hop is supposed to be this diary type of deal where you're talking about your environments, etc. If you really about this, then you're, you 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 can you're find gonna your you're gonna put that out to the world, and and so now I think more than ever that really matters. <sighs> Even with six nine, even <laughs> with six nine, who's the big frost rat guy? He was really in that. He was really in them circles. A hundred. She was really. He clearly was in them circles. He wasn't capping about that. Where do you find? We, we we unpacked this a little bit last week. Where do you find the time? To drop a hit single worldwide and then Easy. orchestrate a kidnapping. Easy. I would like to just eat my hostess cupcakes and watch <laughs> like maybe The Office after I left the studio because I'm tired and my blood sugar's low. You niggas are worse than Lex Luthor. I don't you know what. Fuck it. Shout out to Lex Luthor. <laughs> Fuck it. We shout out all the super villains on this show. I just don't get it. Does everybody really want real until it's because see that's now th- th- that's th- before it was see, shock value. That's the question, right? What what do do you really want the real? Because it looks like if you really do, all your favorite art is gonna be gone by tomorrow. 
Because the feds want the real too. How old was Pop Smoke when he died? 22, 21? 20. He was 20. You can't buy a drink. Come on, man. The boy ain't You living. can't rent the car. You even know how to use his dick yet? Nope. I didn't know how to go through the car wash until 23. <laughs> Pop Smoke died at 20. That's what you just, I mean, like, it's cool until you're dead. And, then, and the crazy thing is, they're like, he's going, he's going, he's going. But then they move so fast to the next artist. Well, that's just, I think that's just how we consume information nowadays, though. That's just all, like, I mean, bro, So it, the, tomorrow, tomorrow could be a, tra- today could be a tragedy. And then tomorrow, it won't be trending for a new tragedy. Because every day there's a tragedy. Every day. Every day there's every day there's a new tragedy, whether it's real or not. But speaking of hip hop, I, I was at my Griselda show, I was with a good friend of ours, shout out to, to Rev Lickers. Um, shout him out. We were talking about hip hop voices. So he doesn't like Kendrick because he doesn't think Kendrick has a good rap voice. <laughs> Have I've never you heard that before? Have, have you ever? So my question to you is: Have you ever disliked an artist because of their performance voice? Yo, honestly, you you, I think you would have to be like a bad art. Like I don't, I guess necessarily would have to like your music, not the voice, because it's niggas with weird voices. Sometimes the shit, like I didn't get uh Young Thug's verse, uh, excuse me, voice at first. I was like, oh, this shit. And I was just like, uh. but I guess because I'm kind of a nerd, I was looking for something to compare him to in the sense of just like music period. And I was like, oh, this might be like Lil Richard. Outlandish. And now that's a fucking comparison. The levels of the, of, of, of because I, I also don't forget this is entertainment. I put your name in, I went through your catalog, I'm looking through your Serato. Because I want to be entertained. That's fair. So that's I, fair. I'm not. I think people. So so so. That's an interesting take for uh, for for Rev to, to to have. How do you feel about that? I, for me, I was like, I actually kind of like. I, not kind of. I usually do enjoy an artist who has a different voice. Granted, there's that universal rap voice that I enjoy too. But I, yeah, I enjoy. I enjoy here. Like the only time it was kind of weird was like when Danny Brown was doing like the weird, weird voice. I like that, that shit. See that? See, and I know a lot of people that loved it. That, <laughs> that was the one time I was like, ah, I don't really get it. But using Young Thug as an example, even when the indictment came out, I saw some of the lyrics that they used. Oh, I said, shit, Young Thug was spitting. I was like, I understand the word that man you couldn't was understand saying. Some of that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh, he <laughs> really was spitting. Like, oh, that's crazy. But. Part of Thugs Allure, as you said, granted, he, he says those fire things, but it's the sounds. It's the, the sonics of everything. It's the weirdness in, in that new sound that you don't really, you're not used to, that your ear isn't used to, that you may not know if you like it or yeah. hate it. But it, I, and I always argue, hey, at least you have an opinion on it, I, which is better than nothing. Way better than nothing. I don't even think, I guess that voice too, like you said, I like that point. It was a template before. I think it's. I think it's. I don't know what these young niggas think, but like back before, like like you knew, like it was a, like like it was a sixteen. Niggas don't know how to read bars. Read bars. What the fuck is Are that? You right? Shitting me? Are you shitting me? You know what I'm saying? It was a template. Like oh, I want to sound like Biggie, Big L, uh, Nas, Ghostface. Ice Cube. Now it's like these niggas like yo. They, you might. You might like yo. Now, now I want to sound like Goody Mob. Now I want to sound like Ludacris. Ludacris was hot. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and not even to, it's just, now there's just so many weird guys that you can attach to if you want to be that weird guy. That like, there is no more template. There is no such thing as a blueprint. I think niggas need to get weirder. Speaking of weird. Speaking of weird. I want to get to our, our, our story yesterday. So for the fans who do not know, which you shouldn't know, weird. Uh, me and the big sh- Jew show ran into each other. And so w- first things first, when you are doing a podcast, you start doing a podcast, you know, I'm always looking for things that I want to talk about or remember to bring up. And it's always even, or in my past experience and even yesterday, it's even more interesting when 
you and your podcast host are together on, on unexpected terms. Outside of the fucking, Outside yeah. of this, you know what I mean? So we, we, the real we, world. we went to a friend's house that we, neither one of us knew we were going to be there. Um, we, both, we both ended up being there. Uh, it, was, it was great to see him. Um, it was it was great to, to see our boy. Was twenty plus years? Uh, yeah, yeah, just about. We're getting close <laughs> to the point of twenty plus years. Yeah, and uh, but it was it was it was interesting. The people there was a lot of interesting conversations. Um, first things first. Brooklyn's a weird place now. I want I want I want to get that out the way. <laughs> Brooklyn, New York is an extremely odd place now. It looks more dangerous than when Biggie was running around. We were down there, not too far from Church Ave, not too far from Nordstrom Ave, not too far from Flatbush. Oh, yes, I forgot you frequent Brooklyn. You're, you're familiar. And if you are a Brooklynite, a New Yorker, you know these areas back in the day were very well-known non, non-welcoming places. To say the least. I ain't never seen so many hippie white people. Unpack it. They're so comfortable. In the same place. I felt like get out. That was Woodstock. That was Woodstock. I, yesterday we were in Woodstock. I was fucking more nervous. When we were passing, I was like, I asked, I asked Rev this question. We, I, 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 me, it was me, Rev, and Serge the Purge. Shout out to Purge. That took this. Shout out to Purge. Shout out to Serge. He was very hungry. I hope his blood sugar levels reached uh, regularity today. <laughs> Last night was a fucking horror story. But we were headed there, and I was just like, yo, why are these white folks so comfortable? I was like, how does gentrification work where it's like, okay, now you can move. Apartments went from 2,000 to 5,000. And they're like, oh, okay, it's safe. Like, 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 yeah, like, that's I, the thing. What Where the fuck? The, what the what, fuck? Is there like a, a, a safety switch? I don't get those emails. Because how the fuck did that area go from a relatively dangerous area to one of the safest places I've ever seen? It looks all, ah, oh, fuck it. It looks the same, right? Like, like, oh, like it, does, it doesn't look different at all. No. It's just the roads, people. the roads are still terrible. There's graffiti everywhere. It takes you three hours to get. To go two miles. Everything is the same. So, so yes. except for the white folks. So we're there yesterday. I'm pretty sure we met a porn director. Um, I can see that. I'm pretty sure we've met. Uh, he might have been a scientist, or <laughs> I don't even. Which a, one? A biochemist. I don't know. Uh. It was just, it, it was, they were all from Minnesota. Yes. Yes. I never met somebody from Minnesota. I've never been to Minnesota, so I, I don't even know why they were like how they were. Refreshing, right? Was it? I had a George Floyd conversation. No, you fucking did. You did that. You're the reason why it got gentrified. I want to keep my George Floyd next to my Nat Turner and Emmett Till. <laughs> That's where he stays now. <laughs> Jackie Robinson, George Floyd. Very adjacent. I was, I was talking to a, a um, it was somebody's mom. Wonderful lady, very nice lady. Oh, my God. Uh, and she told me she's from Minnesota. And she was like, but she like, Minnesota gets a bad rap because the George Floyd thing. My eyes kind of lit up. And you ran with it. And then she was like, but we're, we're definitely not that community. Definitely trying to make me feel safe. On the other side of like, the country. Like, wait, like, and that, that was the kind of funny part to me. Was like she wanted me, she, it was almost like she wanted me to feel safe about Minnesota. Well, she's obviously an organ harvester. <laughs> but continue. That's and, crazy. And I was just like, again, wonderful lady. Extremely nice. Extremely welcoming. Just Was just very confused at, at, to the... Just, I, what would, why would you think to mention George Floyd to me? I know why you thought it. But why would you think to say it? What was the conversation so leading up? Like, well, she would just tell me she's from Minnesota. And then that was it. And, and then George Floyd was brought up. I guess, she oh. assumed, I guess she assumed because she said they were in Minnesota, the first thing I thought about was George Floyd. That wasn't the first thing I thought about. 
So many other things. And that, this is just one of many interactions. And But it was also a very modern-day progressive vibe. Like, every, everyone in there voted heavy Democrat. I li- yes. I like the energy, though. I give you that. I think so we're just alluding to it was different energy. It, it, was, it was Woodstock. <laughs> it, it was, it, oh, it yeah. was hippies. <laughs> we were with hippies and, like, traitors. It was what? I didn't expect. I did not expect that. You know why? Because the guy who invited us. It's not a hippie nor a trade. Well, I guess he is a trade I, industry, I, but I guess. He's not a hippie. He's not a hippie. I don't know what his stance is. He's a cool motherfucking dude. Forever been. But it was just like, okay, this is what we're doing tonight. You know, so not a pasta salad. So I ran it. <laughs> What's it just shout out to the pasta I guess, I guess what is that many different types of arranged pasta salads? You should yo, expect hippies. No, there was like four pasta salad tricks. I had all of them. <laughs> this morning, my colon is clean as a whistle. I ate so many different type of progressive pasta yo, salads. Yo, and they were all different. All different. There was not one that was the same. Same ingredients, but like- were all different. <laughs> Wet or dry. Wet or dry. But they were all fucking different. Yo, chill. <laughs> Bro, they were all yo. That was crazy. That was crazy, but I so in being in that environment, um, watching Twitter, watching news articles, all the good stuff. Um, progressivism is 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 a very weird thing now, and what I mean by that is. I at least thought being a quote-unquote progressive person, you like black people, you didn't mind, you know, immigrants coming in, as long as they're not doing that wild. You all for, you know, women getting a, a decent shot. <laughs> decent. You know, we're, we're like normal, you know, normal things. And it's like, Hearing, and, and these conversations didn't happen with me because I don't talk politics anywhere, but hearing people talk about it, it's like if you're not, if, you're, if, you don't believe, if you don't believe everything the way we believe it, you're like a racist. Or not even a racist, you're like a bad person. Uh, from, from our perspective? Or... From like both kind of. Because we're from Jersey. It's both, a lot of both weird kind of, shit in this both kind state, of. It's, like it's, we said earlier. And, and the reason I'm bringing this up is as, especially as a black person, right? We're obviously told to, you know, go Democrat because they're gonna try to help us. And Ugh. and but but see now at the same time, and this is why I see this how, especially now how I see politics is like the Republicans pitch is look. Those dem guys are just as racist as us. At least we tell you to your face. I, I as I got older, I, I actually appreciate I that. I kind of feel like that's their pitch. I'm, I'm uh, their I'm, pitch is like, hey, we don't like you, but at least we'll just tell you. I might continue, and we're not going to use, we're not going to pretend to like you. No, until things, you know, until you want something, and and that now we forget. Like you know, we'll lock you up. Can you shoot a jump shot? You can. You can pass. <laughs> Okay. We might let you in. Might let you in. I mean, Kobe dropped 81. Rape what? You know what I mean? So it's, I, it's weird. It's, 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 weird. it's a weird dynamic with the Republican side. Because That's, I don't know who like black people. I don't like you niggas very much. <laughs> I'm just trying to, I'm trying to figure out who actually likes black people. Is it nobody? Is the answer nobody? Kim. Is the answer to, and not, and I, I, I hate, you know. You're biased. I, Thank you. I, I hate. I, I I hate I also hate kind of having these conversations because people also especially black folk they also hit you the course they don't fuck with us and we need to do this and we need when yeah oh, which side the Republican shit. side or yeah, just black people in general I'll just say black people black people like to say oh, okay, you know, okay, don't okay, trust okay, okay. either you know we need to do our own thing blah 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 and I mean sure in theory all these things are correct 
And uh, me and my friends of mine always say this, when it comes to actually starting and doing it, you know, our community isn't great at following through in those things, right? So we end up still choosing sides. And I don't know, it just, it just, it's just my observation. It's just, I feel like, I feel like everyone still kind of like, just fuck us, but like, let's, let's, yeah. let's, let's kind of make, make it look a little bit nicer. How, how, how they do the fixings. Yeah. Oh, speaking of that shit, 2024, Trump back? He win? Because nah, Biden, nah, I don't know I don't if that nigga know how to tie shoes no more. Uh, so here's the thing. Here's the thing about Trump. I, I think Trump Trump ended up getting the LeBron um, the LeBron syndrome, which is you've seen this nigga's name so many times so much that you're just over it. I think that's uh, I think I think Trump overextended. Oversaturation. Himself. Yeah. And I think that alone may probably not get him a dub. Now, I think if he shadow docks it. And gets a guy who like him that he, you know what I mean, that he pushing. Cause I think the politics would win. For Trump, right? Oh yeah. I think Trump politics would win right now. Yeah. I I don't I think I like Trump. No, nah, I d I don't know if you do. I don't, I don't know, know if, if you I do. don't. I don't know if you do. Yo, here's the I thing. I don't know if you do. Here's the thing. And it was crazy, like, 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 cause everybody fails to realize, like you said. When you get to it, like, like they're like, oh, Trump are racist. I'm like, well, show me a president that really wasn't. Lincoln ain't really mean to free the slaves, but it was on his plate. It's like, ah, fuck, mom gave me broccoli tonight. <laughs> can't eat chocolate cake, I don't finish it. Yeah, like, the fuck is you niggas? Who really been fucking with, with anybody that didn't look like whoever was in those seats? So what I'm saying is, like, I don't want you to build a wall. I fuck with my Mexicans. I'm very excited about Mexicans. Right? Let's, let's get some class on the Mexicanos. <laughs> But I like less taxes. Yo, and that's the so, so <laughs> I actually fuck, bro? So, so I, I actually saw something the other day and it was like a, a, a poll of like each state and how the state viewed their governors. And I think the top four highest approved Parched or what are we doing? A little, a little, a little bit more. Um, I think the top four were all Republican senators. Uh, for, now, for what now, are you talking about? Now, guess in what area? So the poll. So it was a it was an article that I read where they polled every all fifty states and their view on their governor. If they like how much they liked them, how much they didn't, whatever. Okay. And the top four highest rated were Republicans. Guess in what areas? Uh, Southern. I would. I would. No. All northern areas. Maine. Were Republicans? New, New Hampshire. Uh, so now here's the thing Here's how these guys And these are guys That nobody knows Right You want to know How they're doing it Those progressive states You want to know how Do you want to know How they're doing it they'll Continue They're basically Doing pro, they, they agree with like Women should have abortion They agree with like uh, uh, um, uh, What was another big uh, I forgot they, But they, they agree They agree with a lot of Them Like them uh, uh, Social issue points also, maybe some of the, but their immigrant they're, perspectives they're now, aren't too harsh. Now, the Republican side of them is super less taxes. They're some of the lowest tax states out there. Yes. Uh, much less government interference and a lot of stuff. Okay. So, like, it's, uh, it's like money-wise, they're Republican, but socially, they're Dems. And I How old think, are these people? The uh, Old white guys. I mean, old white guys. Really? But I, I think they have the key. I think they have the key. And these are people, do, do you see pro, their projection of running for like presidency well, no, because or are they're they never, staying in the Senate? No, Congress, because they're never going to get, because you, I, I think the only reason Joe Biden won is because everybody hated Trump. Yeah. So I think right now to be president, you got to be like Uber something. You Charismatic. Gotta, you you got to be like, I'll talk about even in your policies, like you got to be either super Dem or a super Republican. I don't think I don't know if a middle guy because Joe tries to run as the middle guy. I don't know. I don't even think. I, I don't even know what Joe is. I don't think anybody knows what Joe Joe is. But <sighs> do you like Joe? I 
I don't know. I don't know. Right? I don't know. It, I don't know. I, I, it's hard for me. <laughs> you know, I, I, what, I don't, what I don't like is this. This is what I don't like. And this may not all fall on Joe. I don't like that the Democrats have all the power, basically, and they got nothing done. Nothing. I know for a fact, if Republicans, Once again, have, if Republicans have all the power, this state would be fucking as Republican as Re- Republican can be. My nigga. So it makes no sense to me how when the Dems get it, they still play the... Like, it, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Because why in God's name would any, anyone ever give you full control again? Bro, and... If you're not even going to push the Democratic Their excuses shit. really be... He was like, well, and... The other side doesn't want us to propel. But Mr. President, everybody's Democrat, even the fucking guy who cuts the grass. Like, I'll get back to you. And then the nigga fall asleep and shit. It's like, it's, yeah, so it's like, crazy. I don't know if, I don't know if I don't like Joe or if I don't like the whole party as a whole right now. I don't like the old black folk that vote for them. That's who it is. So, so I talked to my dad about this. So my dad did pretty well for himself in his older age. Did and I said... I, so he he's voted Dem his whole life. And I said, well, why? I was like, for someone like you. Really? His whole life. And I said, for someone like you, voting Republican would make sense. You make more money. Like, all, like. Got it the from the bottom. Shit, outside of the social shit, like. <laughs> <laughs> the Republican niggas probably bang with you heavy. Yeah. And, and, and he was like, the reason why he would never vote Republican is because he was dead poor. And he just associated the Democratic Party as people that care about the poor. And he said because he was poor, he's always going to have that, like, thing in his mind that I have to still always oh, that's what's show up. up to the poor. And it's like, damn, that's, that's a fire reasoning. But did the Democrats, like, brainwash him? That's crazy. Because, because... And again, I'm not... A lot so, of them were poor. And, and, and I'm not either or, right? I want to make this very known because it's going to sound like I'm a big Republican guy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm neither. I think... I think Political parties are absolutely stupid. But yes, I think especially because they're the like, because I, I, if, if Trump was in office, I could, I, we probably been on this pod for two hours talking about all the goofy shit that's going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? But since, since the Dems have the power, and if you want, I like to be objective with these things. And again, it just makes no sense to me how you have complete control and yet you can't get nothing passed. I don't. And I pick back off you said, I don't think that's, the, that's like you said, that's really their agenda because they're caught in this lie. And like you said, your father, your father is just one of the people like, as, as my father, he did well for himself in a time too. Uh, but I think they stand on that moral basis. It's a template of like, oh, I, I, yeah, like we got it from the bottom. We're going to hold our niggas down. Thousand right. Percent. But also, like you said, those niggas, people fail to realize this country is a republic. This is a fact. But it's ran like a business, a corporation. These niggas go to lunch together, eat tuna salad. Yo, bro, and have I calamari. just I just I think so some on TikTok. But some the guy was like get married together. Yo, where somebody was like, yo, we as the public think all these guys hate each other so much because of Twitter and what you see on t- these guys literally go to lunch right after these sessions. Right after. They're best friends. Like Sting versus Hulk Hogan. Uh, literally on some WWE shit. Then they go off and drink they're, beer. They're driving to the next town together. You know, they're big rivals on TV. Same thing. Vince McMahon it's is WWE. probably in the backseat. That's, Vince's, Vince's wife is in politics. Get the fuck out. She was part of Trump's staff. Oh, shit. He lit. That's why Trump did it. Because wow. the bigger, uh, he, he wasn't my president, but he the bigger. So y'all gotta take it how you want, America. Why do you think the WWE was open early pandemic? Oh, shit. I had no idea. When I didn't all even... the sports shut down, WWE ain't shut down once. It never shut down? No. They ain't miss a beat. God damn, Trump step. did it again. And you ungrateful niggas just keep <laughs> kicking him through the fucking mud. <laughs> I wish they could keep him alive. Him and Roosevelt. That's the only niggas. I, I, I think I would in 2024. I'm not Republican, but like I like the fact that he's not um, a politician. I fuck I with Bernie. Answer, though. I hate that answer. Because look, because oh, look, I, I fuck answer. with Bernie, but I think he's too much of a mad scientist. Like, let me the, ask you a question. In what other major profession would you want a guy who who doesn't know the job? That, 
Just name me one other role. Just name me one other role That's the thing. in any part of your life where you want the nigga who doesn't know, who has no expertise to be the one to do it. That's, you want a doctor that went to med school? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I also know Domino's is in pizza. It ain't like good fucking <laughs> Emerald Lagazzi back there. Da, 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 flipping the dough. We fail to realize this is Shakespearean art. This ain't, these niggas is putting up, this ain't, this ain't four score and eight niggas ago. I never got my 40 acres in a mule, my nigga. We've been cut but short no, long ago. I understand ago. that, but the idea is saying, oh, I, I, I want a non pile Why? Why do you want someone who doesn't know what they're doing? I'll put it because like this. Because what? That's almost like, do you want to be president? No. But that's what you're saying. And that, that's what you're no, saying. You're no, saying I want a nigga like me to be president. Why? No, no. Why do you no, want me to be I, president? I, I, I put it like this. No, what I meant was, because it's like this, it's like this. It's like people for the realize it's like I feel like where America's at at this point is like we're trying to act like football isn't a contact sport. Like, yo, let's make it safe by niggas who are 6'5, 265 pounds running at full speed, bro. Somebody's not gonna get up, dog. Forever. Forever. So you, yeah, the helmet is cushioned with dove pissing. <laughs> Shut up, dog. He biggest, you see this nigga? But he supposed to sit in the office in tuxedo. You two run as fast as y'all can and hurt each other. <laughs> That's what the sport, and we try to act like it's not. Well, I mean, what Trump is, we, 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 we failed to realize it got to a point where your president and Hillary Clinton was sitting they called niggas super predators, and then he get up there, and he Wu-Tang. And, 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 He's and, sucking and, jive the whole way the through. Whole, with, with Obama and Obama, thank you, America. And niggas just forget, like, like we, we forgot, like, we were so past what American politics were. These Gen X niggas on these, they realized, like, yo, this shit, this shit fake. Like, like Trump just, he called niggas... On a bluff and it worked because I used to I, I used to tell Rev and my cousin I was like yo I think this is scary when Trump was first running I was like yo I think he's gonna he's like what are you a Republican I was like bigger than that dog I was like the fact that they're allowing it that's what triggered he's me. He's six nine the politics. I like that you ain't niggas ain't like gumbo niggas got the blicky uh with the sticky uh that shit was hot you crazy as hell. And, and, and it backfired. It backfired. But did Trump ever get that golf course finished in Ireland? No. I didn't think shit was going to get done. It's more like I'm sitting back and saying like, oh, y'all thought shit was going to get done. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. Y'all that's your fault, right? But I'm going to tell you, in those four years, I made the most money legally. <laughs> I, I ain't have to sell a drug, nigga, not an aspirin or a fucking hat, nigga. Big blessings to that. So before we dip out of here, I, here he, I, here he. I have one um, to, coming in today. I, I add this in super late, just because I randomly popped up in my mind. What is the worst thing you've done on a date? So I'm gonna go first, just because I want to tell this story. I was dating a chick. We were probably talking seven, eight months, around there. One day she hits me, she goes, I want to take you out with my cousin to New York. I said, cool. You go to the train station, she pays for our train ticket. Okay. Oh, all right. I'm going, she's taking me on a date today. And you were dating how long? Seven, eight months? Seven, eight months. We go to uh, BBQs, Dallas BBQs. Eating, drinking, having a good time. The bill comes. <laughs> Now, I'm thinking, oh, she's taking me out. I don't got to worry about this bill. Okay. Bill comes, I go, you know what? Give me what you're going to give, and I'll put the rest. I got you. That was the worst decision I ever made in my life. So, like, go Dutch. Was it like, go Dutch? I, I, I thought I was being helpful. <laughs> Because it was a pricey bill, and I was under the impression I was being catered to that day. Which you should. Should have been catered. We start talking the next day. Because you... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Never talk to her again. It, it wasn't just you and her at the date either? Me and her, her and her cousin. We, we finally spoke about it one day. Because it was a female. Just, she just stopped talking to me. 
It was because of female. Because it was a female. Oh my god! Because sometimes these gay niggas love <laughs> Dallas BBQs. Niggas, gay niggas love ribs. You niggas love barbecue. Yo, shout, shout out to my gay people, man. Shout out to my gay. Shout out to the, to the alphabet boys. Um, yeah, no, we we uh, she, we didn't speak after that. Um, she basically told me how I embarrassed her in front of her cousin. Because I didn't just pay. And she said she needed a real man. So she couldn't talk to me no more. Age, 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 age range, frame. What was like, what was, what, what age range we were in? Like how, like what the fuck? 24. Still very young 24. in society. 24. Putting it together. And she, let me just get it straight yep. before I give my answer. Yep, yep. She literally said, I'm basically taking you out. I want to go. Let's go. I got you. Thousand percent. Thousand percent. And it was regular up until when the bill came. And right when, right when that, scenario, that situation happened, we paid, I felt the switch. You ever feel the switch in real time? Oh. I felt the switch in real oh. time. The jokes weren't so funny anymore. No. You can't. The, the, the conversations weren't as, as flowing as they once were. One word answers. You can't, you can't grab her hand. The, the, the cousins are look, giving each other eye contact in different codes. Were there appetizers? There was appetizers. Were there drinks? Three drinks each. Oh, my God. This bitch is diabolical. <laughs> so your response when the bill came, you said, give me what you got and... I'll help, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It couldn't be any more chivalry left on the table. I thought I thought I handled the scenario perfectly. I handled it as wrong as I possibly could. No. In the scheme of real life, King. So objectively, I feel like I was right. You still. martyred yourself for niggas like me in for this the, room. For, for, for the thank for, you for the good of, for the good of mankind. You 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 saved a million niggas. So, so, gentlemen, always pay. Always pay. If that can give you any, always pay. Don't even ask. Don't even consider, always pay. She's lying to you. She's telling you she's paying. She's lying. She's lying. Just assume she's lying. But even with her bringing a friend? Like, she didn't it's think. It's a lie. It's all lies. How did you feel? What was your feeling? Bamboozled. I know, I know it was this. I was I know bamboozled. It was this. I know okay. okay, thank you all. You guys, you have a good evening. Here's your peppermint. Send your toothpick. <laughs> You know, and they slide the and they slide the bill, and then and then when the nigga or or whoever is is the waiter or the host, whatever they slide the bill, they and they, and they don't know because it's a third wheel there. Now niggas just looking around and shit. And so so it was that first awkward like no oh, one touched it. So I don't like, touch right. that shit. So that I should said, be on fire. I said let me volunteer, slid it over, saw the bill. How, said, was, all right. how much was it? Ballpark two fifty. Oh shit, bitch. Two fifty. What? Shot the bill over to the to the other guy on the other side of the table. They look at it. We decide, all right, we'll split it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What? The cousin's boyfriend gave his credit card. I I decided to collect money. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. And that was the last time me and her went on a date. Shout out to her, by the way. Is her life good now? Is it good? Is no, she... no fucking idea. Not oh, wow. Not you just... Like no idea. <laughs> never talked to her again. After the last time we had a conversation, never talked to her again. Should we get treated more often? We'll, I, like, we'll, I like barbecue. We'll save that for next week. We'll I'll save that for enough time. But do, do you have a, do you have a, uh, a, a worst, a, a bad date story that, you, that was your fault? Man, I don't. I'm pretty sure I have a plenty of bad <laughs> days stories, and I'm also pretty sure, at a very young age, I also didn't know how to take that hint. Like, oh, maybe her phone's dead. She didn't hear me today. <laughs> that was only fifty dollars. Yo, I asked that, for. that 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 uh, the initial ghosting is probably the most confused time period of any human. I'm naive. Well, you know what? I have an Android. Let me try again. It, yo, there is there are so <laughs> many irrational thoughts that go through your mind. 
Maybe she's sick today. Yeah. She sleep all day. She might be at work. Could be with her cousins. Maybe messages aren't going through. Let me email, let me email her. So many. <laughs> let me send her let me send her a DM. All That's I weird. did was say I left my wallet. <laughs> let me hear the friend. Maybe her friend's seen her. Yeah. It's 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 that that first 48 hours of the ghosting. Is Megan good? I'm gonna send an Amber <laughs> alert. Last night date went well, right? Didn't hear from her. Text back. She doesn't text me. So I mean, me, me is a little different. Moose, I, I don't know. Biggest thing is I could say like after every movie, you probably shouldn't try to rip your dick out in a vehicle. <laughs> Circa <laughs> the let out, and from there, America. That's where I went wrong. <laughs> Next week, we'll unpack it. Keep your dick in your pants and just make sure you get extra butter on the popcorn. That's all I hey, got, Hey, man, kid. this has been the No Free Game Podcast, episode two. Uh, we'll be back next week, hopefully. we back. Uh, hopefully, he got a new robe next week. I don't know if it's 800 degrees again. Let me see the... Ooh, it's a silky it's silk, man. Out of here. Uh, we out of here, man.